Godly Play at St. Peter's Episcopal Church in Arlington, Virginia. Our story today is Godly Play's story of Joseph. The great family grew. Jacob had 12 sons. Jacob's favorite son was Joseph. Jacob, to show his love, Jacob got Joseph a coat with many colors. This made his brothers hate him. Joseph had a dream that he and his brothers were out in the field gathering wheat. Suddenly, his bundle of wheat rose up, and his brothers bowed down before him. Joseph told his brothers this dream, and it made them hate him even more. They thought it meant that one day Joseph would rule over, him, over them. Joseph had another dream. In this dream, he dreamed that the sun and the moon and the stars bowed down before him. Joseph told this dream to his fathers and brothers, and they were all angry. It sounded like not only the brothers, but Jacob and his wife would also have to bow down to Joseph. One day, the brothers were out in the field watching the flock. Jacob asked Joseph to go see how things were going. Joseph went, and when the brothers saw him coming, they decided to kill him. But Reuben, the oldest, persuaded them not to. Instead, they took his coat and they threw him in a pit. Soon, a caravan of traders came by and the brothers sold, Jacob, uh, sold Joseph to the traders for 20 pieces of silver. Then they took his coat and dipped it in the blood of a goat and took it to Jacob. They told him that a wild beast had killed Joseph, and Jacob wept. Joseph was taken to Egypt where he was sold as a slave. A captain in Pharaoh's army, Potiphar, bought Joseph. Potiphar's wife caused Joseph to be put in jail. Joseph stayed close to God, and God stayed close to Joseph. Also in jail were some of the Pharaoh's servants. The servants had many dreams, and Joseph told them what they meant. When the servants got out of jail, they found that the Pharaoh had been having dreams that no one could understand. They told Pharaoh about Joseph, and Pharaoh called Joseph to him. Pharaoh's dream had two parts. In the first part, there were seven fat cows and seven skinny cows. And the skinny cows ate up the fat cows. Next, Pharaoh saw seven fat and good ears of corn and seven skinny and sickly ears of corn. And the sickly ears of corn swallowed up the good ears of corn. Joseph told Pharaoh that this meant there would be seven good years and seven bad years, and that Pharaoh should save up 
the grain in the good years so that the people of Egypt had food to eat during the bad years. Pharaoh agreed and put Joseph in charge of storing up the grain. Joseph was now 30 years old. The lands near Egypt also had bad years, and the people in the lands near Egypt came to Joseph to beg for food. Jacob sent 10 of his sons. When the brothers came to Egypt, they bowed before Joseph. They did not recognize Joseph, but Joseph recognized them. He kept one of the brothers, gave the others some food, and sent them home. Then they all came back, and this time, Joseph told them who he was. He said, God sent me here to preserve life. Joseph and his family lived in Egypt for the rest of their days. When Jacob died, Joseph and his brothers took him home to be buried in the land of their fathers. Then Joseph and his brothers returned to Egypt where one day their children would become slaves when a new Pharaoh forgot all that Joseph had done. Now I wonder, what part of the story did you like best? I wonder, what part of the story did you think was most important? I wonder if you think there's any part of the story we could leave out and still have enough story left. I wonder if there's part of the story that felt like you or that you felt like was for you. That's our story for today. Have a good day.